You know I won't drop the ball. You know you my all in all. I know you the god of all. So just tell me what to do. I know you can never lose. My story is just vacant. I'm yours for the taking. Lord, use me however you see fit. When you call. Like Romo, I used to keep taking the wrong road. Now watch how I'm breaking these strongholds. Yeah, you made me beautiful. You know that you the go. You came and gave me a song. I was lost, now I'm found. Then you sent me. I was blind, now I see. 2020. I give thanks for the day that you came into my life. Revelation is defined as the act of revealing hidden truths. God communicating divine truths. Unlocking mysteries. And when our eyes are opened, 
the darkness is flooded with great light. Immediately deliverance has come and freedom has come. This freedom isn't just for you or me, but for our families, our communities, and the generations connected to us. His word by his spirit for his kingdom. This isn't just any church. This is Revelation Church. Welcome to Revelation Church. We will now inform you of our Lifeline Essentials. Your attention is key, as this may differ from any church service you've experienced before. If this is your first visit, we welcome and greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. If you've already been here before, it's great to see you again, family. How are you staying connected? The information booth is where you can find our Lifeline QR code, so you can officially become a member of Revelation Nation. And to those who are watching online, don't worry. You can scan the code too. We love to have you join us online. Beyond joining us every Sunday and every prophetic Thursday, it's important to keep growing spiritually. Sign up for Power Shot, a daily devotional on realms of meditation led by Prophet Lovi himself. You could visit us on prophetlovi.com. And it doesn't stop there. We love growing middle schools and high schools here at Revelation Youth. On top of that, we meet in person on Fridays and every Tuesday for Global Zoom Prayer. Daughters of Revelation, hosted by Prophetess Maggie, gather together every first Tuesday of the month, and the whole Rev Nation family come together to pray every first Saturday of the month with Apostle Gershon. Zoom link available. The world is changing all around us, and your help enables us to spread the message of Jesus. You can do this by connecting what matters most to you to who matters most to you. When you give your offering in-house, please write legibly using the envelopes in the seat back in front of you. Prefer to give online? The accepted methods will appear on your screen. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms and tag us in your pictures and your videos. Many people worldwide have encountered this house and the message of Jesus, all because someone liked, subscribed, and shared something very real happening right here. If you have any questions, just stop by the information booth in the lobby or visit the website at revelationchurchla.org. Thank you for your attention. We know this will be a service where you will encounter God. The time is now. Your time is now. The Lord has something just for you. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome, 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 Revelation Church. Are you excited for Prophetic Thursday? That's, that's, that's cool for your gopher in the backyard. Are you excited for Prophetic Thursday? Not, okay, not, not just like Prophetic that. Service, but yes. for Easter service. How many of y'all excited for that? It's Resurrection Week, Anna. It's Resurrection Week. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are y'all excited? Y'all ready? ready? Hallelujah. Man, Listen. we cannot forget about all of our family that is watching online. Yes. You know, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we see those people online in-house for Easter service. Amen. So wow. let us know where you guys are watching from in the comment section and show some love to, to your friends and family out there. Amen. Hallelujah. Because there's no distance in the spirit. It's just like you're here with us because you are. Amen. 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 Listen, we have some amazing announcements. So Revelation Youth is having a service and we are excited as we welcome back our very own Prophetess Lena. Make some noise for her. She just gave birth to a beautiful baby, and she will be teaching April 5th at 6.30 p.m. The youth service is an opportunity for your middle school and high school kids to come, be encouraged, inspired, and excited for what God has for them as they are the future leaders of Revelation Nation. 
Amen. Now, attention to all of our dancers. Audition for the dance ministry is coming up. But first, make sure you come to orientation. If you don't come to orientation, you won't find a, a spot on the roster. Amen. You won't. Orientation will be held April 7th. Again, that is April 7th. And this is for people that are 18, year old, 18 years and older. Amen. Yes. So make sure you guys that want to desire to join the dance ministry, register today at revelationchurchla.org. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are my singles at? I heard, she said, I heard her. I'm right here. I'm in here. You're going to see me. <laughs> the singles. Can the singles make some noise real quick? There we go. That was a little better. There, okay. That was a shot. It was I a shot. Was, okay. Because we, 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 we're, we're believing for kingdom marriages. Amen. Absolutely. Hallelujah. Listen. Absolutely. Mark your calendars. The solo ministry, sing, singles ministry is hosting their very first summit. April 19th at 7 p.m., where they will dive deep into discussion and share their personal journeys and insights. Stay tuned for the registration details it's for the singles. For the singles only. Oh, I'm a single lady. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Amen. Now, our minister's development program, Rise, is open for enrollment for our summer 2024 semester. And before, before I dive into that uh, even more, let's give a round of applause for our, our graduating class that just graduated last week. Listen, listen y'all, that class is intense. You know, it, these it people, is. they sacrifice a lot, but you can see their dedication and their willingness to surrender to what God has for them. Yes. And it's commendable. Yes. It's not easy. It's very commendable. So for all of you guys that are feeling that tug to come to Rise 2024, our summer enrollment is now open. And if you are currently in ministry or know that you're called to ministry, we invite you to come and receive our nine week nine week nine intensive week. program that sounds like a training camp in the nba it nine does. weeks amen this isn't your ordinary bible college or faith course here it's alignment it's purpose it's destiny impartation implantation all of those wonderful and amazing things in the activation of your spirit man amen so apply now at revelationchurchla.org hallelujah it's amazing it's amazing listen we have some special videos for you we want you to watch this so there's a difference between being poor and being broke. These are generational truths that will leave a legacy for your family. When you feel like you don't have anything, when you feel like I might as well end it, that's when he really showed up. You are Christian, but you're afraid to buy a jet because people will say something. You're not spiritual. Anyone that is experienced or that wants to be wealthy, they know that life is always evolving. The Bible says money answers all things. Let's get this knowledge so we can have that money that will answer all things. I looked at a building and said, that could be my building. Before I got to a corner, a prophet calls me and says, God said, go back and anoint that place you saw as yours. I've had, I still own that building. To be poor is a mindset. The evidence that you have really fulfilled all spiritual righteousness, you are supposed to be rich. Uh, what, what do you feel about the vibes though? Oh, no, it's fire. It's crazy, yeah. Uh, what, what do you feel about the vibes though? Nah, it's fire. It's, it's crazy, fire. yeah. It's super crazy. It's so unexpected, eh? I don't think we ever seen it this way. Yeah. Ever. I, I think so, too. It's a special time. Yeah. It's a special opportunity, and it's the right time. The, the, this is, there will never be a time like this again. Oh, oh, oh save, save me. Save What I'm looking forward to most about Easter is the fact that everyone's faith is high because it's being said so much, He is risen. This Easter, I'm looking forward to the, the good food, you know, the church food, the meatballs with the barbecue sauce on it, you know what I'm saying? And I'm also looking forward to whipping out that uh, pink and purple Easter suit because you know I got it. What I look forward to on Easter is good food, family, and a positive community. What I look forward to the most in Easter is spending time with friends and family, obviously the eggs, and celebrating Jesus and what He did for us. I always look forward to spending time with families from different parents 
parents at Easter because my family's on the East Coast. The things that I most look forward to is spending time with my family and if we do, going on Easter egg hunts. I remember always going on Easter egg hunts and they're always really fun. What I'm looking forward to this Easter is all the moms, aunties, grandmas wearing their Easter hats, Easter fits. They never disappoint. It's always a great time. They can showcase their fashion. Uh, I love the fact that Easter brings families together and we get to remember why we are called children of God. All those things can happen and more because everything is possible with God. Listen to me, March 31st, Easter service here at Revelation Church. You do not want to miss it. God will do the impossible. See you then. God bless you. God bless you all, Revelation Nation. This is Prophet Lovi Elias. And listen to me, it's going to be a fantastic Easter uh, beginning from um, our Thursday service, prophetic service. The next day is going to be baptisms. And we are in the overflow sanctuary and uh, construction is going on, lights and all that. We are making it all look so amazing because my dream is that nobody will ever be left out. Um, it usually breaks my heart when we have so many people line up as usual and many won't get a seat. But this time, this time everybody will have somewhere to sit. So, Big Joaquim, I see you. So, uh, we're in the lobby. We have the lobby set up too as another place for more people to sit. It's awesome. You can see this other setup, which is amazing too. And, and this Easter, I'm going everywhere. I usually go everywhere during service, but I'm going to go everywhere. It's a little overflow situation after the main. Uh, overflow. Obviously we have the main sanctuary here and uh, they are working uh, tirelessly. I just wanted to show you what's going on and uh, yeah you, you know this place I don't need to show you this. So and then we have out here the tents are set up which is so amazing. Um, so much space. Um, on this side I think they're almost done. On the, I think they're done now. It's just set up chairs and sound and all that good stuff. Big Kenneth. Yes, sir. Big man, Wagwan. You yes. good? Yes, sir. This, this is an amazing, awesome man. It's an amazing son and amazing man of God. Amen. He's, always, he's always working on something. And then we have this other tent. And we, and we have the, the strongest... Uh, uh, don't run. Where, where are you running to? <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have the, the gorilla, uh, uh, the dread man. <laughs> Big Andre, they've been working like crazy. Oh, 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 Are you doing big? Pretty good, sir. These amazing sons there. What do we do for you? You know, they're doing, is your voice back yet? A little bit. A little bit? Were well, you having too much fun? What was going yeah, on? We, uh, Praising God? Amen, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Bright and early. I, I, so we have this set up, and uh, you can see all the other equipment are here. So we're getting ready for that. And I'm going to show you our, our amazing new addition which is just a few steps away. And I love this because it shows how the future is gonna be of this beautiful street when we take it all over for Jesus. So this is our new building. It's just a few steps down. So I was told earlier today that this is sitting about a thousand people. Hi Maggie, Sasa. Hey, hey come guys, what are you guys doing? Fixing what? The stands? The, the stands. The information stands. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, yeah. you see them? Did you put, get them on? Uh, don't run. Why are you hiding? We are watching you. <laughs> so, this is going to sit about a thousand people. Or well, they said there's about almost a thousand chairs or something. And uh, see, the first LED screen is set up. Second one is over there. And uh, lights are set up and all this. They are not done. I think they're finished tomorrow. So my goal is to, before we even do the tents, I actually want to preach from in here. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be fire. I've been saying it, but I've been saying it, but I'm really going to probably start in here. But we'll see. But they have this other one up, coming up. So 
for all those who are coming out of town, trust me, we have you covered. I don't want anybody to be sent home this time. We are all going to be together praising God, serving the Lord, and it's going to be beautiful. So for all those who are coming for Easter, we got you. Jesus will be praised. Come on. Amen, amen. Those are some exciting announcements. Now, everybody, Hallelujah. let's give a warm welcome to our very own prophetess, Lolita Brown. Woo! Revelation Nation! Right? Woo, you woo, in woo. are online. Yes. You are blessed this weekend. I mean, there are so many things happening, but I am here to talk to you about Saturday. Yes. Have you ever wondered why you haven't walked into your wealth? Well, at this event on March 30th at 1 p.m., we're going to be talking about all the principles, the laws, the systems that you need to unlock your wealth this season right now because it is your time right now. And, amen? Hallelujah. So I just want the people to know that tickets are going very fast. They're very limited right now. We have a few VIP tickets left, but you can go to MissLolitaBrown.com and get your tickets. And I'm just excited to see you guys there. We have so many things in store for you, but I just want everybody really, really to know that right now it is time for you to manage, multiply, and build your wealth Amen. for generations to come in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How amazing is that prophet? I have a quick question for you. Uh, yeah, you, you. Yeah. Let me ask. You. Okay. Go ahead. Burning in my spirit. So you're telling me <laughs> it's not about fasting on a mountain for 40 days and 40 nights to unlock that generational wealth. Is that what you're saying? No, you actually have to apply some things. You need to know some things. You need to have wisdom, understanding. And at this conference, you're going to learn everything that you need to know in this season to unlock your vault. Amen. 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 Thank quick you question. so much, Prophetess. I, I got one more quick question oh, yeah, for go you. Go ahead. Go ahead. How important is it? Because you mentioned the word unlock. How important is it not only to access it, right? But where do we even start? Well, the first, first thing you need to do is get your ticket. Amen. 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 <laughs> because we have Prophet Lovi, Prophet wow. Taryn, myself. I have experts that have experienced 16 years plus in the industry coming to teach you things that they teach multimillionaires and billionaires on how to understand wealth, how to invest, how to save, how to budget, how to manage, all of the things that you need to know. And then we're going to receive an impartation from no other than our own spiritual father, Prophet Lovi Elias. Amen. 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 So I'll see you guys there Saturday at 1 p.m. Amen. Thank you so much, Prophetess. We appreciate clap it. Clap for it. Clap just... for it, everybody. That's amazing. Manage my wealth. Manage my wealth. No, this is my wealth because the wealth. wealth. Okay, let me stop because I can go there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Listen, as Prophetess said, we have a jam-packed weekend. Tomorrow, March 29th, we are celebrating with baptisms on Good Friday. Listen, unfortunately, the registration is is closed however i do have some good news even though you couldn't make it to this one we are still having baptisms for every quarter of the year so since you can make it for tomorrow you can register online for the next ones to come amen absolutely now our kids we are very excited for the upcoming Easter service and all that the amazing children of fire who will be coming to our children's service for the first time amen let's clap for our youth let's clap for our youth if it's your first time and you want to shorten your check-in time, make sure you visit revelationchurchla.org slash kids. Yes. Revelationchurchla.org slash kids and complete the registration form. Please do not forget to click the add child button on the form for each child you're registering and make sure you guys uh, pre-register. So the pre-registration does not lock in that spot for you, but 
going and, and being there for the pre-registration does give you a better chance of your child getting in there. Amen. So make sure you guys uh, pre-register. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't know if they're ready for this next announcement. <sighs> I hope you're going to make them ready. I, okay. Are, are y'all ready? Okay. Let me, let, me, let me put on my popular accent. Are you ready? <laughs> Amen. Listen, Easter service is happening March 31st. Hallelujah. And it, uh, make some noise for that. Hallelujah. And it is also the end of our 21 day fast. Listen, this year we want to celebrate with you and your families. It is going to be a powerful gathering as we celebrate the resurrection victory of our Lord Jesus and Revelation Nation. You are all invited. So plan to bring your families, your friends, your dogs, your cat, your turtle. Bring them all because we got space for it everybody amen listen there is no special wardrobe needed we just want you to come and celebrate the king together amen how many of us know that christianity itself is nothing if christ doesn't come out that tomb amen ah, that's, that's 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 come on how many of us know our faith would be nothing if jesus himself did not rise up from out of that grave that's something to come be on. excited about that's something to be excited about. Amen. And we know that Prophet Lovey, our, our last, Eve, sir, last Easter service, it broke his heart Literally. that people couldn't come in the house. So what uh, the man of God has done for us to prepare uh, places for people so that they won't get turned away, you know, just so that we can experience the presence and the power and celebrate what the King of Kings has done for us. Amen. 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 Now, this is a special announcement in-house. So make sure you guys listen closely. Hear by the Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Any lines formed before 7 a.m. Sunday morning will not be acknowledged. Again, any lines formed before 7 a.m. Sunday morning will not be acknowledged. Our team will direct you to where the lines will be formed as it will be different for this special service. Doors will open at 8 a.m. It will be cold and rainy and we want to respect your time and your family's time. Respect to our neighbors, the community of Simi Valley. Please... Do not form any line whatsoever before 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Amen. We have acquired the building next door and have tents prepared to welcome every single person and their families. No one will be turned away. We have seats for you. Amen. Please follow the instructions. <laughs> The testimonies that we have of people that aren't in the main sanctuary, but in the overflow, overflow, overflow of, of what God has done for them. Amen. It's, it's, it's not about, you know... Um, uh, fighting each other to get that, that first spot. Amen. Yeah. These grounds are not normal. These grounds are not typical. Amen. Hallelujah. There have been miraculous things that have happened here at Revelation Church LA. Again, so please just follow instructions. Be obedient. What God will do for you will shock you and it would exceed every single expectation that you have. Amen. 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 Honor, you said something very powerful. You talked about the grounds. I don't think people really understand that this isn't just a church. This is Revelation Church, yep. L.A., where the Lord Jesus lives. I know that you said that there's countless testimonies. We have countless testimonies. If you knew where we came from to be where we are now, we know that God is real because of this church. And I had a question I wanted to ask Absolutely. you. What has been one of the most impactful or powerful moments that you've experienced here at Revelation Church? To be honest, the... Um, the revelation that God gave me about how much of a process deliverance actually is. Mm. It's not just I get touched, the demon's gone, and then that's, that's it. I had to really come to a full understanding that deliverance is a process, amen. And, and I want you guys to be encouraged. A lot of us just want to touch from the prophet. But if you have the revelation of the spirit that is within the prophet and the spirit of God that is able to deliver you, give yourself grace and understand that these things take time, amen. So I would say that's the biggest thing, that it's a process. And I can only give honor and glory to my king because that process has been very beautiful, amen. Hallelujah. That is amazing. I love that we have this house. I think we have a very special, special testimony. Man of God, can you come join us? Can we celebrate right him here, as he right joins here, right us? Here. How are you, sir? I'm great. Thank you. So talk to us. Tell us a little bit about what, how, how has the fast been going for you? Oh, this has been one of the most amazing fasts I've had. It's connected me deeper into my spirit. You know, the prayers have been phenomenal. Waking up, connecting with God, connecting with Papa and the prayers have just been completely life shifting for me. Yep, absolutely. So what would you say is the one thing that you would say God has highlighted to you um, during this fast? One specific thing. That it's not about me. It's about him, 100%. Amen. And the ability to release yourself from, to move out of the way so God can do. 
is one of the things that he has highlighted the most. And that has come through in prayers a lot because we find that we strive so much to achieve and God wants us to be in a state of rest. Mm -hmm. Because when we rest, he can do. Mm -hmm. So we relax. Our, ch our jobs as children is to receive, Amen. not to achieve. Uh -huh. So we need to, that's one thing I've found here. My ability to rest gives me the grace to receive. And because I can receive, I can achieve. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hey Amen. Thank you so much. So, so are you are you preaching today? Because, I mean, I mean, sir, you 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 blessed us. But I believe that you have a testimony that you want to share with us. Is is that cool? Oh yeah, I have loads of testimonies since I came here. I know a lot of people look forward to having Papa lay hands on them and you know prophesy to them. But I want to talk to people who might not have had that opportunity. I came into this church and I promise you I was totally broken. Nothing was working in my life. I was at the bottom of, my, of, of the barrel and God said, come here, come to Revelation Church. Okay. I was praying one night crying and he said, go there. And since I came here, one of, I came here single, I am now married. Hallelujah. <laughs> look at your jealousy, look at your jealousy. I came here broke, completely, totally broke. And in the past six months, God has opened doors I cannot even talk about. I'm talking billion dollar businesses, billion dollar deals that I don't have to put my money in. 100% product of grace that I don't have, I cannot claim any credit for. And I want to say to people that that is what he wants to do and that is what he does in this house. The air, the ground, the presence of God is here. So don't wait for the prophet to touch you. What he's speaking is more than enough. Just allow your spirit to be open. Reach out and grab it, and you will testify 100%. Prophet. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Make That's some deep. noise for this great man of God. Amen. Thank you, Thank man you. of God. Wow. That's powerful. Ah. It's, it's beautiful seeing the people that Prophet Lovey is raising up. Yes. Just imagine a bunch of Prophet Lovies all over the world, all across the four corners Crazy. of the earth. Amen. Ah, That's amazing. what he's doing. That's what he's preparing. He's preparing his people. Amen. Ah, Listen, it's fire. It's fire. We have one more special testimony. This woman of God is a pillar. In, in this in this ministry in this building i love to see her she's been with here since the genesis literally the lit genesis i love it listen can you please bless us with your with i, I gotta kneel i gotta kneel because her, her grace is here how are you woman of god the knees are for the knees are for jesus hallelujah look at the humility <laughs> look at the humility okay Put a little closer. my name is maria i was in dire need when I met Prophet Lovi, but at that time his name was Lovi. I asked the Lord to help me. I was in dire need, meaning dire need. I was homeless. I used to be a millionaire. I ended up in the streets with all my children. I had to lean onto a God that I did not understand or did not know. I knew there was a God but I did not know him personally at all. So during my crisis, I went under deep darkness. And I asked the Lord, help me, help me. He sent me Prophet Lola, who led me to Prophet Lovi. Come on. And when he walked into that church, he blew everybody away. But I did not know what deliverance was. I did not know the manifestation of the Spirit of God at all. But I saw, I said, what is that? I said, whatever it is, I want it. But I was so sick, I could not see. I was even preparing my funeral. That was a lie of the enemy. A lie of the enemy. So I started focusing on God, not me, taking myself out of the equation, worshiping him, and focusing on him. That's the key. So the key is not about me. It's about Jesus himself who died for you, who left you a toolbox. He left you the word. And he left you the word. And you have to bring the word to life in the name of Jesus. And because of Prophet Lovi, he taught me to get closer to God, to get into the spirit man of God so he can manifest, but to trust on him. So when there's a situation, don't look at the problem. Look up, trust in him, and go. My, yes, in the name of Jesus, my sister, God had to use me 
I was the one. I was the black sheep of the family, but I was the one. And because of Prophet Lovi, how I came to his house, when we started with three, came out to 150, nobody moved out of the house. My sister had tumors everywhere in her body. She had cancer. My niece has pancreatic cancer. She had aneurysms. She had all kinds of things that were manifesting based on the behavior that she was into. However, God healed my niece, my family, everybody, family and friends. I started evangelizing, bringing people to come who were dying. I picked them off from the street. I did not have a car, but Prophet Lovi said, someone's going to buy you a car. And I expected it. My problem was I didn't decree it or declare it and believe it was there. But after I started decreeing, the car came to me in two hours. Hallelujah. Because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be alive. If it wasn't for God, my son wouldn't be alive because he saw hell. He went to a portal of hell. But the angel got him and pulled him down and brought him out, and he saw hell. My mother saw hell, but rest in peace because she's in heaven. But God came and grabbed her by the hand and took her to hell. I grabbed her and brought her to Prophet Lovi. He prayed over her and said, now she's going to heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Thank you Mama Maria. Wow. Can we celebrate that? That's a, that's a big deal. Hallelujah. Listen, wow. I mean, that's just one of millions of testimonies. Fire. It's fire. Listen, we have a special, special video that we want y'all to see. Please watch this. Somebody shout fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, children of Zion. Ah, fire. Wow. Fire. Listen. No, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for what the prophet is doing. He's so versatile in, in all that he does, amen. He is. Yeah, yeah. Listen. I, I heard some, I heard some, some behind the scenes stuff that happened. Uh, it's just powerful. It's, it's, too deep. For it. it's too deep. It's too deep. Excited Listen, for it. yep. can we all stand to our feet? We're about to have a powerful, 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 powerful moment in the presence of the one and true living king and can we please celebrate our elder our leader apostle gershon as he ushers us into the place of prayer Hallelujah! come on and give it up unto the lord give it up unto the lord praise god let's pray let's pray let's pray thy way O oh god is in the sanctuary who is so great a God as our God thou art the God that doest wonders thou hast declared thy strength amongst the people thou hast with thy arm redeemed thy people unto thee O God do we give thanks unto thee O Lord do we give thanks for that thy name is near thy wonders works declare that you are God. We magnify your name tonight, Lord. Tonight we thank you that we stand on holy grounds. Tonight we decree and we declare that these are holy grounds. And where we stand today is where you manifest your glory. So we, the redeemed of the Lord, we say this is holy grounds. And we stand on holy grounds. Let your name be glorified above every name. Lift up your voice. Thank the Lord because his word says that your expectations will not be cut short. Mm, this, yes Lord, lift up your voice. 
I know that you've come from afar. I know that you've come from a near. I know that you've come from different cities. But lift up your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. For tonight is my time. Tonight is my season. Your word is true. And tonight I'm not going to leave this place the same. But I will see your glory. I will experience your wonders. I will experience your power. Lord, even as I present my hope, my home, my endeavors, my business, everything that concerns me. Hey, da 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 ba sun dele brada ba 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 ba. All over the centuries, lift up your voice. Re ba da ba ba deste. Mandele de 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 bosa. Ra ba da ba ba de ba sun dele ba de. E katala ba da ba sun rana masanda. Mandele de de bosa. E katata ba ra ba sata ba ba ba. Mandele de de bosa. Lord, I come to the place where I know that Your help, Your help. Is evident. Manda ba 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 ba. Manda le 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 boja brada ba 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 ba. Manda le 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 boja ba 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 ba. Eka ta ta brada ba shonda ba 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 za. Lord, highlight me today. Let the prophet speak into my life today. E le boja. Mele ba da ba ba ba. Manda le 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 boja brada ba ba ya. Manda le 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 boja. E katala ba ra ba sha ra ba ba na masonde, mandele le le boja. Rama na makonte le ba ba ya, manda ra ba sha ra ne ba be ne ba be ne ba be. Rama na ba ba na masonde ba ba na makata, rama se ba da ba ba na masanda ba ba ya. Lift that need, lift that situation before the throne of grace. Call upon the God that answers by fire. Call upon the God that makes a way. Call upon the God. Mane brada ba 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 se. Raba da ba ba na masada ba ba ya. Makata ta ba ra ba ba ba. Call upon your help. Ere ba de ba de mo shabra na masada ba be. Rama kata ta ba ra ba ba ya. Mane le 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 mo shabra na ba be. Ekata ba ba na masada ba 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 ba. Rama na masada ba ba be. Rama na makanda ba 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 ya. Lord, that which lies ahead of me, that situation, oh Lord, I speak, I speak to it, that it will move, it will move, it will move, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramana Masendele Babe, Ramana Masanda Baba Ya, Mandele De Bosa, Ramana Masendele Babe, Ika Tata Bara Baba Na Masende, Glory, 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 Mada Mada Kosha Tata Baba Baba Ya, Ika Na Masanda Baba Na Makata. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, tonight I am intentional. Tonight I am very intentional. Tonight. Oh, somebody say tonight. I connect with you. I know where I stand. Because the word of God says, where two or three are gathered in his name that he is here so tonight i speak on your behalf it is well with you it is well with your family i agree with you that all things will work together for good on your behalf you find favor with God and you find favor with man. I decree it in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe what you just said, shout hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. See, I 
always tell you that there is a sound that you hear and the word of God says it's a sound of victory how many know that they've heard that sound of victory oh come on I, I maybe I got to speak to the people online that they have heard that sound of victory and they make a shout and celebrate victory I don't know about you but I know how to celebrate victory I know how to celebrate breakthrough
to bless them like you mean it. Come on and lift your voice in this place. Come on and give our God a praise that he deserves. Say, Lord, I will bless you. Lord, I will trust you. God, I will praise you. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but God, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands. 
on getting better, amen. I said he keeps on getting better. Y'all said that like he kind of keep getting better. I said he keeps on getting better. If that's your testimony, come on and lift your praise in this room. We're going to be lifting the praise all night. Come on and lift your praise in this room. He keeps on getting better. I'm a living testimony. You have always been enough Though the night may get darker Though the wait seems long You have always been faithful To remind me of your love
good to you.
serve the God that defeated death, hell, and the grave, and our sin, when we didn't deserve it, he gave us the victory, come on, you guys know you have victory in this place,
name of your son Jesus for your goodness your kindness that you remain the same now and eternally father glorify yourself as we stand before you sanctify us and purify us of all our errors O Lord father we pray for your spirit to carry us even in this hour that we may fulfill the purpose you have ordained for us father when that great day will come when we stand before you we will not be judged based on how we lived we will be judged based on what you gave us to do father we are not called to do everything we are called to do what you asked us to do father help us to stay on the path that is pleasing unto you what was ordained for us in the mighty name of jesus and everybody said Amen. clap your hands if you believe the lord Clap your hands like you mean it. Clap your hands like you mean it. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Welcome to Revelation Church. The Lord is going to meet you today wherever you are. Yes. This is such an exciting um, weekend. Yes. It is the reason why we are Christians. Amen. If this weekend did not exist, it is pointless to be a believer. Amen. I don't know if you can hear me. Yes. It will make absolutely no sense to believe in the Lord Jesus we believe because he rose again if there was no resurrection we might as well be Buddhist or whatever I, 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 can you hear me yes that is the difference and that is the evidence of our Lord being real is that his life was documented by those who believe and those who did not believe historians recorded his life they recorded his crucifixion it's a real thing it's not a myth you know we have this school of um, uh, we are in a time where there is so much information but people seem to be so dull at the same time because not all information is credible I don't know if somebody can hear me but when the Lord Jesus is involved in our life and we know God for who he truly is. There are a lot of changes that come. The first one is we begin to know him as he is. Amen. Understand if the Lord would come from the grave, it means nothing about your life is actually dead. Amen. Amen. It's just waiting. For... Let me talk to overflow, Zara. <laughs> Let me talk to those who are in different <laughs> auditoriums in this great, great, great great church that the Lord has established it is the reason hear me it is evidence that nothing is actually dead it's just waiting for him touch your neighbor say God is visiting you God is visiting you and Jesus has never visited a funeral Jesus has never visited a funeral and people kept on crying and people kept on crying wherever he goes there will be resurrection wherever he goes there will be there will be a celebration of life there will be a celebration of if you believe this clap your hands to the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. understand this with everything that is in you all things will come alive Amen. Amen. it doesn't matter if it is one day two days three days one month one year two years ten years thirty years it makes no difference to God is all able and capable Amen. lift your right hand to heaven wherever you are whether you're in the overflows in the main sanctuary the overflows or the other building look at our new building on screen look at that look at that Amen. <laughs> Amen. 
Don't worry, I'm coming to you in a little bit. Amen. I'll come all the way there. Everywhere in this building you'll be visited. Amen. The Holy Spirit will go and I will just come also so that you can believe more. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Your name is exalted. Your name is exalted. And your name is lifted. And your name is lifted. Because of your goodness and your kindness. Because of your goodness and your kindness. You chose by your own divine mercy. You chose by your own divine mercy. To give us life in abundance. To give us life in abundance. Father, today we want to receive that life. Father, today we want to receive that life. That life that cannot be touched or stained by death. That life that cannot be touched or stained by death. Father, today we know. Father, today we know that what you have ordained, that what you have ordained will surely come to pass for us. Will surely come to pass for us. So, Father, I lift up everything that seems to be dead. So, Father, I lift up everything that seems to be dead. Because whatsoever is in your hands, because whatsoever is in your hands, does not die. Does not die. It can only sleep. It can only sleep. So, Father, today let all things that are dead be awakened. So, Father, today let all things that are dead be awakened dead dreams to come to life dead dreams to come to life business plans to be resurrected business plans to be resurrected lost opportunities to be restored lost opportunities to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus because the grave was left empty because the grave was left empty everything that is caged by the enemy everything that is caged by the enemy everything that was held by the enemy everything that was held is coming out of that grave. Coming out of that Lift grave. up your voice for 30 seconds and speak to the Lord. Lift every dead thing out of the grave. I resurrect. I resurrect every dead thing out of the grave. Whether it be dead, whether it be sick, whether it be your finding, whether it be my career, I resurrect every day.
Jesus. Clap your hands if you believe you have received. Amen. Amen. No, you're not clapping like you receive. Clap your hands like you receive. Hallelujah. 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 Grab your Bibles if you can. Isaiah chapter 40. In verse number 31, I believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. Mm, how ready are you? Are you ready, ready, ready? Ready. ready. Let's read it together. One, two, three. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. One more time. Let's read it all together. But they uh, one, two, three. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. One more time. Read it with everything that you have. One, two, three. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Oh. Let, let's, let, let's do it one more time. Yeah. With a little more confidence. Yeah. Auntie Benz was reading the wrong verses. So let's get her to read correct. Am I lying? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may sit in heavenly places. Hallelujah. 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 Can we turn off the air a little bit? It's a little bit cold. Yes. When I haven't started flying the air, kind of... <laughs> it's, it's too cold. I'm too African for, for ACs. <laughs> Uncle, how are you doing? Love you so much. Love you, Mama, too. This, this is my family here. Yeah. These are some of the people that knew me before anybody knew me. <laughs> this is my uncle and, and my aunt. And uh, he, was, he, he's, he was a very good friend of my spiritual mother, Mary Catherine Baxter. They were like this. So every time I see him, I remember mother. Hallelujah. 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 Now, the Bible is saying, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, I want you to understand that the life of a prophetic people, you have to understand that walking with God, you have already been initiated into the prophetic. There is no believer who is a genuine believer that walks without the picture of the future. In fact, to be a believer is to see the future. Because we already hold information of every event that will happen in the world. What is to come, the issues that will come, the tribulations that will come, the economies that will collapse, the, the new world order, how... The world will be destroyed, how we will be redeemed, how Jesus will come and will be raptured. It is all about the future. A believer does not walk in life without seeing the future. If you cannot see the future, you have no faith. Amen. And we are not talking about hope because hope is the belief that tomorrow will be better. And there is nothing wrong with hope because God wants us to be hopeful. When we are tired, when we feel like the struggle has become tougher, it is hope that revives our faith. Because there are times that faith can fail. The Bible says, I pray that your faith does not fail. When faith fails is remembering what God has done. That hope ignites you again to run after God. I don't know if somebody can hear me. But 
As a child of God, everything about your life is connected with the journey of tomorrow. A believer does not live for today. A believer believes that their destiny is where their completion of God's mind is found. That is what the scriptures say. The present suffering shall not compare. I feel like I'm talking to myself. So if you do not have the eyes for tomorrow, your present suffering can destroy you. Mm. In the last days, many shall depart from the faith. Why will people depart? Because their present suffering will blind them and stop them from seeing their future. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May you see the future that God, I feel like I'm talking to myself. May you see the destiny that God has ordained for you. Has ordained for your loved ones and everything that has to do with you. Without sight, there is no future. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So if you are a believer that is not given themselves into the prophetic, you have already killed your own ability to follow after God. You see, Satan does not possess knowledge of the future. In fact, Satan is afraid of the future because he knows how his story ends. Amen. But he puts on his anxiety on you to also fear the future. But the future favors you, but it does not favor him. Amen. So the more you can stand against storms, it means the devil is already losing the battle. Yes. Just the fact that you saw tomorrow and you see the day after, it means the power of witchcraft is failing. Yes. It means the power of sorcery is failing. Yes. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible tells you joy comes in the morning. Why? Because every morning that comes, uh, Satan's depression is increasing. This is why the Bible says, resist the devil. And why is he fleeing? He's fleeing because he sees you have seen the future. If you can resist, let me talk to overflow. I feel like, (laughs) let me talk to some people in the overflow. In fact, I want to come to you. Hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me. The resisting of the devil is because you have, you have rejected and refused to sell out. Come on, come on, come on. Anyone that is hungry will sell out. But everyone that is fasting will not sell out. Amen. 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 (laughs) Because you understand, you are not starved. You have chosen not to eat. Yes. Because your appetite is being increased. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, uh. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. It doesn't say God will renew your strength. Touch your neighbor, say, look at me now. Look at me now. I I can't hear you. Touch your neighbor, say, look at me now. Look at me now. So, So understand this, understand this, understand this, understand this. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. It doesn't say God will renew it. It's saying you shall renew your strength. So a believer has a way that they receive strength from God. But the issue is many don't understand what it means to wait on God. Uh, We are going somewhere. Many have not understood the science of waiting for God. Many think waiting for God is being at a standstill. 
<laughs> Many think waiting for God is being in limbo. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm just, I'm just here, Lord. Do what you want. No, there is no such thing as do as you want. God has set an agenda for you. You don't walk with God in despair whereby whatever you want. No, God has already told you what he wants. You are above and not below. Whatsoever you lay your hands on shall prosper. God has already established. You don't wait in limbo. But the reason why your strength is lost and you don't have the ability for tomorrow, you don't have the ability to mount up is because you don't understand that for every season, for every age, an ego matures. The old feathers must be taken out for new feathers so that they can take a different flight. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me help you. We are going somewhere. You have to understand... To renew your youth is your choice. It's not God's choice. God has made it available for you. But it is your decision to understand that, you know, my old wings could fly this far. These wings need to be plucked out in order for new ones to get in. Good. Psalms 103 from verse 1 to 5. Watch this. Watch this. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Verse 4. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Verse 5. Now I want us to read verse, read verse 5 all together. 1, 2, 3. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. One more time. 1, 2, 3. Who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Now notice when we read uh, Isaiah Chapter 40, verse 31. Now, remember this. Who satisfies your mouth with good things? So that what? Your youth is renewed like what? The ego. The ego has the ability to renew his youth. Come on. Come on. Come on. Teaching. It doesn't mean that he's not aging. But he has the ability to pull on old strength. Come on. But there is another creature also. Who has the ability to also appear new? He's called a snake. Come on. Come on. A snake will go into a season where he will take off his skin. Come out new, but the difference is he's still on the ground. Amen. 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 I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to the wrong people. An ego may be grounded for a season. But a time will come where he will take flight again. But it doesn't matter how many times the devil changes his skin. He's still grounded and he's still on the ground. So how then does God renew your strength? Those who wait upon the Lord. But the word wait means to remain. It means to remain. There are times what you used to have worked. Everything you touched just was working. And then you get to a certain time what you used to do no longer works. But I am brilliant. This has been working. But now, it is like you're bumping into a wall. Nothing seems to be working. 
you are fasting and you are praying and you are doing everything and you are still trying what you used to do but nothing seems to work. You are saying, Lord, I am anointed. You test it on other people. You pray for other people. They succeed. You pray for yourself. Nothing is working. Lord, what a guan. <laughs> what is going on with me? I will pray for somebody and say, Lord, the Lord will bless you and surprise you. Tomorrow they get a breakthrough. You, you declare on yourself nothing. Crickets. This is a reminder that you have been soaring at a certain level. But God desires for you to soar higher. Yes. But you cannot soar higher with the old ability, with the old anointing, with the old way of thinking, with the old operations. Remember, eagles don't fly high, they soar high. There is a difference between soaring and flying. All birds fly, but only one reigns supreme in the air because he has the ability to remain in a certain dimension. Just swimming in the air without any effort. God is lifting you to a new dimension. I receive. I said God is lifting you to a new dimension. I receive. No, 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 capture this. But the process of renewal means that you have to accept to be grounded. Oof. God will not tell you, come down. You should notice, my feathers are not what they used to be right now. It is a moment that I need to take time before God and strip myself of the old. Strip myself of what? The old. Many of you are still praying like 1965. You're in 2024. You are still thinking like 1915, yet you're in 2024. And you're wondering why you're praying for tent revivals and it's not coming. Mm -hmm. I remember the days of Smith Wigglesworth. Those days are gone. Greater and better should come. Why do we want to go to the past? When God says, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Many of you admire the old feathers so you're not plucking good in order for new ones to grow and many of you become grounded because your feathers are worn out not because you notice that my flight is not the way it used to be but i have enough to fly upon mount zion you see eagles don't nest on trees they nest on mountains Amen. For ye are come unto Mount Zion. Your place of residence, your nest, is in the presence of God. In a place where devils cannot come. I feel like I'm talking to myself. An ego takes himself to that high point and will be grounded for some time. Why does the eagle choose the high point? Number one, because it is where he reigns when he's above. But also from that place, he can also see what is coming. So he chooses a, a strategic posture and position that where he remains to watch, he can see what is happening. But he's also safe to take off the old feathers because for a while he will not be able to fly but he must still see so good. 
Some of you, your feathers got worn out and you rested on a tree. Yet you should be upon a mountain. Yes. And when your feathers began to fall off because of them being aged, a chicken passed and insulted you and you thought you were like a chicken. A turkey passed by and said, look at you, you also now upset. Wanting to find a turkey, yet you are an ego that is grounded because you failed to measure. Come on. Come on. Today, by the wind of the Spirit, yes. by the mighty hand of God, He shall lift you from where you are and plant you on a high point in order for Him to work on you. Amen. Now, now, understand this. Understand this, I beg you. No, no, no. Listen to this. How does God renew your strength? How do you renew your own strength? Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength like the eagle. So how does God renew you? God renews you by you increasing your appetite. Remember, energy is only received when you can consume something that is nutritious. If your nutrition fails, your abilities also fail. Every athlete knows this. Your fuel is your food. So many of us that in the world right now and in the church that are suffering mental illness and stuff, actually most of it is diet. 100% diet. It is strategic for them to pump all these chemicals in these things because it's all strategic. But because of God, we will not die. We will live. Amen. 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 Notice this. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things? When you have plucked out your feathers... Don't pray for the old feathers. Begin to demand good things because he wants to satisfy your mouth. Amen. Amen. You cannot go to a place your mind has never been. Amen. Everywhere you have journeyed, you have journeyed because you decided to go. You saw a post, you saw other people going, they told you it was good so you wanted to go. But no one has ever gone to where your destiny is. But your appetite will declare where God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. You see, Adam, by the Spirit of God, he knew he was not supposed to be alone. Nobody told him, Adam, you know you should have somebody. Adam, within his own spirit, he began to desire. Mm. Not because he was lonely. Adam was never lonely. He was alone, not lonely. God does not send you people because you are lonely. God only sends people if you are alone. No one should complete you. People should only enhance you. Amen. If you are seeking for somebody to complete you, find Jesus. Amen. Let me talk. Those ones are not clapping, so let me remain here. Many of you enter into relationships because they will complete you. No. They should only enhance you. They should lift up and make your life better. I, I don't know if you can hear me. So God begins to satisfy your mouth with good things. So when you are grounded, God begins to feed you. God cannot feed you until you are grounded. I don't know if somebody can hear me. Some of you, God has forced you to be grounded, but you are refusing to eat because you are refusing to pluck out your feathers. God will not pluck out your feathers. You ought to do it by yourself. So your youth is renewed because good things have been given to you. 
The Bible says we do not know what we ought to pray for except God helps us by his spirit. By groanings that words cannot utter. What does it mean? If you read 1 Corinthians chapter 14, it speaks about interpretation of tongues. That when one speaks in tongues, he's uttering mysteries. Notice, you are speaking into the future. The problem is you don't know what you're saying. You are uttering mysteries. The mystery is how you're going to make it without everyone understanding how you're going to make it. But it has already been established that you're going to make it. And the codes have been given to you, but even you need to decode it in order to understand it. But you have already spoken how it ends. So how does God satisfy your mouth with good things? You are grounded, but your appetite begins to increase. Mm. I feel like this place I've been staying in is too small. Notice there is something happening to you that your mouth is looking for satisfaction. Amen. You have to get to a place you say, I have houses, I have... Yes. Amen. Let me talk to somebody. Let me talk to these people. Over. When your mouth is satisfied, you begin to boast in God. Yes. The problem is many of you boast. The boast is actually the prophetic. Look at the great things God has done. Because when your wings have been plucked out, your feathers have been plucked out, you are still in a high place. You are seeing what God is setting up. <laughs> all you are waiting is for you to be charged up. Yes. When all is laid out, you begin to fly. Ah, you enter into the promise. When you are at a high point, you see God removing your enemies. When you're at a high point, you already know who is a suspect that is waiting for you. When you're at a high place, you begin to see who is planning against you. When you're at a high point, you see those who are gossiping about you. There were snakes pretending to be eagles. Now you see who they really are. Amen. I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Understand this by the spirit of God. You have to choose to be elevated. God won't do it for you. Your mouth will be satisfied by God. God didn't say your life, your mouth. Why does God speak about your mouth being satisfied? It's because when God delivers something inside of you. It is what I call the factory of creation. If God gives you a house without the house coming from in you, then the enemy can destroy it. But if it was put inside of you and you let it out, it means you also carry the power to protect it and to guard it. Many of you are praying for things to be delivered unto you, but you are not carrying those things within you. Most of you, your blessings that came are things that just happened that are good. Not because you actually focused, God put words in your mouth, you declared it, and then it happened. That is why your prayers are also small. Father, if you just, I just need to get through this month. Oh, Father, if I could just, whew. if I can just see tomorrow, Lord, oh my God, I will praise you. Father, these bills. <laughs> Just do it this one month, Lord. Yeah. 
Lord, I just need a job for this month. If I could just get something to get me to this point. Notice, all the prayers are not based on the future. They are based on right now. It is not rooted on what is to manifest into your life. Because you don't even carry the capacity in faith to attain it. God can never give you something that you don't have superiority over. Because if God gives you something that you lack the ability within you to manage, that thing will rule over you and God will lose you. And God has decided not to lose you. Amen. Amen. The reason why the devil can give you things. Wow, that is really cool. Did you draw that? Man, look at that. Ah, you, you, you really know who... <laughs> hey. Look at that, man. This is awesome. Look at that. That is amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. I'll pray a special prayer for you. Are you, are you all family? You're all family? You're from Seattle, Washington. God is good. God is good. Now, now hear me. Hear me. God wants to satisfy your mouth with good things. Your mouth is the factory of your future. God reveals the future for you and you speak according to that future. In your moment of being grounded, it is your moment of speaking. It is not your moment of silence. When you are soaring, you are simply walking into the manifestation of what has been ordained. You no longer talk, the vision talks for you. Amen. When you read Habakkuk chapter 2, it tells you, the vision shall speak. When you are in the factory of God, everybody thinks you're wasting time. Nobody can see what God is doing with you. The problem is you start listening to chickens and turkeys. When they don't fly, they remain on the ground. And even the birds that fly, they don't fly to the magnitude that you will actually fly. You will always see further and greater than any creature <laughs> that dominates the air. Amen. Stop comparing yourself with people who fly lower than you. Amen. So good. I'm going to say, let me speak to those who have the spirit of prophecy. I'm speaking to those who have the spirit of prophecy. Yes. Whether you are in the overflow or anywhere in this place. Your speech must be according to what is to come. Not according to what is happening. Amen. Many of the believers are driven by right now. Everything is about right now. When you make a mistake, everybody will judge you right now. They will forget all your goodness. Right now. Let me give you an example. Let me just, let me just give you an example. Let me use one of the fathers like Bishop Jakes. Let me use an example. Recently, people found out that maybe you went to a party. I don't know. Okay? I don't speak about what I don't know. I'm just generalizing here. People discover that he went to one of those parties. Now everybody is demonizing him. But when you didn't find out that he went to those parties, you're enjoying his message. Right. Right. So what changed? Right. Right. Come on. <laughs> you see how hypocritical people are. Yeah. When you didn't know he was your favorite man of God. Yeah. Now you found out it's like all oh, his message is false. Was it really false? I don't condone evil. I'm just helping you to use your brain. You know the problem with Christians is we don't use our brain. Amen. Let the truth be told. 
Yes. Because you found out something, now you can no longer eat what was already feeding you. Do you see how hypocritical we look in the sight of God? As long as I don't know the skeletons in your closet, you are holy, your message apart. The moment I discover, I forget the hard times that your message pulled me through. I forget the times that I was broken and I listened to you and I was lifted. Now all of a sudden, everything is bad. Amen. Teaching good. Many of you stop reading your Bible. You see David messing up, but you still read, Oh, Father, I want to be a God chaser like David. David was a murderer. His past doesn't affect you. You have chosen to look over it. What makes you think that these fathers or anyone can't repent? So does it taint everything, how God anointed him or how God built him? It doesn't. You see, all these things is because the church has become full of chickens instead of eagles who can separate and know this is the flesh this is the spirit yeah. i will overlook the flesh to see the spirit Boy. to see what god has done yeah. if somebody says i disassociate i did not know it means you have zero discernment all those days now all of a sudden you have discernment right. Right. hypocrites right hypocrites a hundred percent hypocrites when you didn't know about god you were listening to him and he built you up now, i'm not condoning mistakes but everyone makes them in different magnitudes people make them but all of a sudden now all the fathers the crypto dollars now they are evil the benins now they are evil because one mistake, two mistakes were revealed about their life. Now everything they did, you don't understand you have become a chicken. You have failed to separate the flesh from the spirit. Yeah. The prophetic is coming back into the church. Amen. The spirit, let me, let me talk to those who are shouting it. Yeah. This is for you. So that you can decipher and know. Yeah. The Lord God speaks. To Samuel yes, refuses to speak to Eli. Right. But if Samuel undermined Eli, he would have never heard from God. Yes. The man that God rejected as the keys has the keys to make him hear God. God condemned him, said, You will die and your sons will die. God had already concluded it. And God told that to Samuel. But before God told him, guess who gave him the password to hear God? It wasn't God. It was Eli. The problem is, the new is fighting the old. And the old is resisting the new. Yet the new must be humble before the old and the old must embrace the new so that they can fly higher than they did before but there is a conflict because the church has the vision of chickens and not the vision of eagles an eagle does not fight for space because he knows the sky is so big Amen. and it can fit everybody. So good. But chickens are in a coop, so they have to fight. Come on. Your yeah, teacher. Uh, let me. This is maybe for the overflow or other places. Only chickens and turkey fight for right now. Eagles don't do that. They have already. They have gone beyond this dimension. They have seen that, listen, we can all fly and the sky is so big that you can be on that side, I can be on this side and we will never collide. Amen. In fact, we can complement one another. Yes, come on. I pray for the spirit of visions. I receive. The spirit of the prophetic to come upon you. I receive. That you may see as God sees. I receive. 
I never saw any of you rejecting your father and your mother because of mistakes. I have never seen you denounce your children because of mistakes. There are some people who do it, but majority of the people don't. If you are one body, when one body is affected, you treat it, you don't cut it off. Amen. Let, me, let me say it one more time. If one place is affected, you don't cut it off, you treat it. If you cut off that hand, what are you going to use to help you tomorrow? Samuel did not look and say, Eli, you can't pray for me because you're going to impart spirits into me. You know, the church doesn't even know operations of spirits. Anyone who prays for you that made a mistake, what spirit are they giving to you? What are you talking? Do you think everyone sins? So if we pray for one another, we're giving each other spirits. Don't you know you sin independent of Satan? Please, please, prophet. You're teaching good. Sin has nothing to do with spirits, has everything to do with you. Yes. Satan takes advantage of the fallen nature. Yes. You will sin whether a demon is there or not. You will sin. It is only the spirit of God that keeps us. Yes. And the grace of God maintains us even when we miss it. All of a sudden, we have glorified demons to the place whereby anyone that has a mistake plays, prays for you, they are transferring. What are you guys talking about? This is the problem of having the sight of a chicken instead of having the sight of an ego. Just because you don't know, you see, the difference is this with some of us is that by God's grace, and I'm not boasting in myself, by God's grace, God has given us the ability to look at people and to know. What is behind them? I don't need to see YouTube and to see some news to say what they did for me to know. That is why I don't care what people do. Because I have the opinion of God. I don't need the news to tell me. Amen. Many of you follow trends. You don't follow the trend of the Spirit of God. You follow the trends of people who spend their time on YouTube thinking it is discernment. Amen. Chickens wait to be fed. Chickens are taken to the slaughter and they don't even know. Why are you listening to people's opinion and you don't listen to God? Why? Listen, there are some people that I am, I am friends with that are criticized by everybody. But I know them by the spirit. And I also know their mistakes. Their mistakes are not mine. They are their own. Are, are you hearing me? Do you know what it means to be equally yoked? L let's, let's look at that equation. Let me help you. So that you, God may deliver you from chickenhood. Amen. Amen. So that God can deliver us from chickenhood. It's true. What does it mean to be equally yoked? What does it mean to be equally yoked? In order for you to understand what to be equally yoked, you need to understand what a yoke is. If you don't know what a yoke is, you will not understand what it means to be equally yoked. The Bible says we should not be equally yoked with the world. Right? Right? But what does that really mean? An example is this. Come, come, my little brother, come. Let me use my younger brother as an example. If he is with the Lord and I am not, already by that we cannot be equally yoked. Because in order for us to be yoked, there will be something that will tie my neck and his neck together. And we have to be going the same direction. Yes. Wow. To be equally yoked with the world is that me and the world are doing the exact same thing with the same goal. Because 
bulls were yoked together in order to work. Not only to walk, but to work after the same goal. But if I come and I become close to him and he's walking this other way and I'm walking this way, my yoke will actually be broken or else I will not fulfill anything. So to be equally yoked, it means we have to believe the same thing and we have to do the same thing. Jesus says you are in the world and not of it. You will deal with people of the world whether you like it or not. You will deal with people with different doctrines whether you like it or not. You will even deal with people who have satanic and di diabolical doctrines. That doesn't mean you go with it. If you go with it and you believe what they believe now, you have become equally yoked. I is this making sense? Yes. You go to the job you go to. Your boss is not a Christian. Are you equally yoked? No. He pays you every two weeks. You get a paycheck. From maybe a, 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 a Satanist, maybe a Mason, maybe some occult. You don't know. You just care about your paycheck, right? Are you equally yoked? No. <laughs> Let's stop being hypocrites. Can we stop it, please? It just doesn't make, it doesn't make any kind of sense. It doesn't make any kind of, you never sat down and asked your boss, are you a Christian? You even say, oh, my boss is not a Christian, you know, but he's good to me. Notice God is using somebody that doesn't believe in what you believe in, but still to favor you. That doesn't mean you're equally yoked. God is using whatever was intended for evil still for good. Amen. The reason why resources are dry in the church is because the church doesn't know their place. When you're anointed by God, no matter where you go, you sanctify that atmosphere. Come on. Amen. But now you're afraid to go into what God has ordained you for. Because you have been deceived. If you go in there, you become like them. Shake your neighbor, say, don't be a chicken. Don't, don't be, be a chicken. chicken. I can't hear you. Don't be a chicken. Shake them again, say, don't be a chicken. Don't be a chicken. Shake them again and say, don't be a chicken. Don't be a chicken. Shake another one and say, don't be a chicken. Don't be a chicken. <laughs> Are you sure you can hear me? Yes. So your calling, your calling in the Lord is so mighty and is so great that you need a pair of different eyes in order to function and to operate. The old sight cannot take you to the place God wants you to be in. The old vision will dry you up and take away what God ordained for you. When you have the eyes of eagles, your operation becomes different because you do not move based on what people are doing. You are always doing things according to the future. You imagine right now, let me give you an example. COVID comes, God says, buy a church. We foresee the future. God gives us a church. We start building. When everybody is shutting down. When people are still rebuilding, we are already acquiring other properties because the people are so many. Amen. Amen. We did not act like chicken where when the problem started. <laughs> Teacher. I'm safe over here. We were expanding because we know no COVID will stop us. Amen. No finances will stop us Amen. because the Lord has spoken yes. and he shall make it good. Yes. God has spoken, he will make it good. So we don't function based on what people are seeing. Everyone was saying the end of the world has come. 
Did it come? Nope. Everyone was panicking like Satan. Satan is afraid of the end of the world to come. Everyone was on their best behavior repenting. I remember seeing uh, uh, men and women of God wailing, How oh, Father, have mercy. I'm just looking, I'm like, eh? <laughs> Hearing from God is so important. <laughs> Your vision must come from the spirit of the living God. Your present suffering is simply your feathers being plucked out. In a little bit, God will begin to satisfy your mouth with good things. Mm, As God gives you that new house, your youth becomes renewed again. See. When you are in Christ, you don't age, you become better. See. You are perfected because there is even more to live for than what you are. See. I want you to rise up. We are going to pray. I want you to rise up and we are going to pray. I want you to tell the Lord to give you the ability to give you the ability and the strength to endure the time of change. Change is inevitable. Please hear me. Change is inevitable. Whether you like it or not, changes will always come. It is the nature of how God created things. Just like seasons don't remain the same. If for those of us who, we live, uh, who live in this Los Angeles, this California, this weather has been the strangest thing ever. <laughs> I wanted to start praying, Father, should I build an ark? <laughs> because the rains are not stopping, the cold is, it's just like, you wake up and it's a complete, it's like, are we in Seattle or are we in? It, it's crazy, but change is inevitable. As a child of God, you ought to always be prepared for change. And if you don't change, you expire for the next level. Because the world is changing, but those who are in God must change faster and must be ahead of what the world is doing. Amen. But if you are in the church and the world has gone ahead of you, then your death is imminent. It's coming. It's going to happen. But that is not the mind of God for us. Please understand this. It is not his mind, it is not his will, and it is not his desire. Amen. It's none of those things. Everyone is demonizing Hollywood. Good. There is evil there. But so is it in everything else. I don't see anyone talking against the government. Amen. Because we just talk about what is trending. Mm-hmm. Yet these are distractions. Hollywood doesn't determine your future. You know that. Amen. Your government is doing stuff. Yes. The elites are doing stuff. You, you are distracted by what is happening in Hollywood. In this time that people are caught up, oh, who was raided, or oh, this was happening. You don't know what is being passed under your nose. Boy. Good. Now let's... A bridge just collapsed. And innocent people have lost their lives. But Hollywood news is bigger than that. Yet that thing potentially was actually an attack. You don't know. How many things have gone through that place that has never happened? Things are happening and you, you listen. You are just... You, you, are, you, you think you are awake, but you're not because your sight is based on what they show you. Yet everything you see is propaganda. The only thing that is pure that you will see that comes from God. Amen. Amen. That is the only thing that will be pure 
without anything bias, but actually for your benefit. It is only one thing. It's the spirit of God that has to speak to you. But if you follow after what is being said, what people think, what people thought, what people... Hey. Hey. <laughs> You'll find yourself with chickens. You'll find yourself with chickens. You'll find yourself with chickens. You have to remember... The only bird that can carry very heavy things is an ego. And God says he will never give you a burden that you cannot carry. Don't think yourself to be a chicken who only eats, does not carry anything. You are given the ability to carry things. Amen. I want you to lift your voice to the Lord. And you're going to tell the Lord to renew your vision. To give you new sight. You used to see and have hope for the future and believed in the future. Now so much has happened that you are incapable. You have become impaired where you cannot uh, um, fulfill things because seeing tomorrow has become impossible. There's nothing I love more than seeing people who have seen their dead end and then they didn't know that I was assigned for them. I'm not saying I'm the answer for everybody. No, I'm absolutely not. I'm not the answer for everybody. But Jesus is the answer for everybody. Amen. There are people that God has given me to be an answer for and there are people I can't answer. I can only pray for you. And Jesus will answer. Amen. But there's nothing more beautiful. I remember when, when, when dad here and mom, uh, and, and these are parents of, of my, my dear son, Joed. And they came and they sat with me and they started talking about this. I said, oh, you, 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 because of this and this, you was like, huh? I said, no, I already knew why you were coming to see me with this. This is the answer. You saw life being revived. You see, when you come to this place, yes. new life is being given to you. Amen. Your amen is too small. Amen. If you knew where your feet are yes. If you understood where your feet are set, you will comprehend and totally understand. That God has something for you. But don't be like the Pharisees that God presents a miracle for you and you can't see it. Chicken sight will make you not see unless you are given grains. Are you sure you can hear me? Yes. Lift your hands to the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, renew my vision. Father, renew my, my vision. vision. Father, restore my vision. Father, restore my vision. Father, restore my capacity to see. Father, restore my capacity to see. That I may know what path to take. That I may know what path to take. Father, renew my vision. Father, renew my vision. Father, renew my spirit. Father, renew my spirit. In your own words, lift your voice and pray. Father, renew my vision today. Renew my spirit. Renew my sight today. Renew my sight. Help me to embrace change, O oh Lord. Renew our vision today. Renew my sight today, O oh Lord. Renew my sight, God. Renew my spirit, God. May I do my own vision, God. Father, and embrace change, O oh Lord. Give me the ability to embrace change, Father. Renew my spirit today. Renew my sight today. Lift your voice, lift your voice. Give me new sight today, Lord. New eyes to see, O Father. Eyes to see, O Lord, to see the future, O Father. Give me new vision, Lord. To see beyond my circumstances. To see beyond my situation. 
Give me vision like an eagle, oh Lord. Give me vision like an eagle, Lift your voice. I can't hear you lifting your voice. As an eagle, may I have vision that will see from the mountain, O Lord, and not from the ground, O Father. Renew me, God. Lift your voice. Aranda la kuna basante, rupa kadi zamande, ne kula mande ne kila rusala, rope na bande ne kila. Father, I lift up every nation represented here, every family represented here. My Lord and my God, let there be a mighty visitation that will come upon all your people. Father, I pray every trouble, every burden for those who are here and those who are online. Lord Jesus, you are the solution giver. Father, settle their solutions. Yeah. Bring, bring settlement to every issue. Let there be testimonies that will surpass the heavens. Yes. That they will be so great that everyone will see and will witness. Father, I thank you that it is accomplished and it is done. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Listen to me. As you grab your sacrifice tonight, you don't, you don't need to come in here. Because we are so many. It will take forever. But wherever you're going to give, they always come and pray for the offering here anyway. So it will be like you're giving it in here. I want you to lift what you want to give to the Lord. Lift your sacrifice to the Lord. Father, as your people who are online and are here are ready to give to you. Father, multiply their resources. That they may know that truly you are involved in what they are doing. Let them lack nothing. 
Let them lack nothing. May their baskets be multiplied. Not only what is inside, but the quantity of what they have. Father, because of your mercy and your grace, I pray that they will be settled in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen. Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus. Come and give to God. Hallelujah. So wherever you are in the sanctuaries, rejoice as you celebrate your victory and give on to the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we're going to celebrate our God in a dance.
Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. We're excited for what God is doing this weekend. And we're expecting great things. God richly bless you. We love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Amen. Revelation Nation, this is Prophet Lovi Elias, and listen to me, it's going to be a fantastic Easter, uh, beginning from um, our Thursday service, prophetic service, the next day is going to be baptisms, and we are in the overflow sanctuary, and um, construction is going on, lights and all that, we are making it all look so amazing, because my dream is that nobody will ever be left out. Um, it usually breaks my heart when we have so many people line up as usual and many won't get a seat. But this time, this time everybody will have somewhere to sit. So, Big Joaquim, I see you. So, uh, we're in the lobby. We have the lobby set up too as another place for more people to sit. It's awesome. You can see this other setup which is amazing too. And, and this Easter, I'm going everywhere. I usually go everywhere during service, but I'm gonna go everywhere. It's a little overflow situation after the main uh, overflow. Obviously, we have the main sanctuary here and uh, they are working uh, tirelessly. I just wanted to show you what's going on. And uh, yeah, you, you know this place. I don't need to show you this. So, and then we have out here, the tents are set up which is so amazing, um, so much space. Um, on this side, I think they're almost done. On the, I think they're done now, it's just set up chairs and sound and all that good stuff. Big Kenneth. Yes, sir. Big man, Wagwan. You yes. good? Yes, sir. This, this is an amazing, awesome man, it's an amazing son and amazing man of God. Amen. He's, always, he's always working on something. And then we have this other tent and we, and we have the, the strongest, uh, uh, don't run, don't, where, where are you running to? <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have the, the gorilla, uh, uh, the dread man, <laughs> Big Andre, they've been working like crazy. How are you doing Big Man? These amazing sons there, you know, they're doing, is your voice back yet? A little bit. A little bit? Were you having too much fun? What was going yeah, on? We, uh, Praising God? Amen, yes. Bright and early. So we have this set up. And uh, you can see all the other equipment are here. So we're getting ready for that. And I'm gonna show you our, our amazing new addition, which is just a few steps away. And I love this because it shows how the future is gonna be of this beautiful street when we take it all over for Jesus. So this is our new building. It's just a few steps down. So I was told earlier today that this is sitting about a thousand people. Hi, Maggie. Sasa. Hey, hey come guys. What are you guys doing? Fixing, Fixing what? The stands. The stands. The information stands. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see. Okay, you see them? Did you put get them on? I don't run. Why are you hiding? We are watching you. <laughs> So this is going to sit about a thousand people, or they said there's about almost a thousand chairs or something. And uh, see the first LED screen is set up, second one is over there. And uh, lights are set up and all this, they are not done. I think they're finished tomorrow. So my goal is to, before we even do the tents, I actually want to preach from in here. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be fire. 
I've been saying it, but I've been saying it, but I'm really gonna probably start in here, but we'll see. But they have this other one up, coming up. So for all those who are coming out of town, trust me, we have you covered. I don't want anybody to be sent home this time. We are all gonna be together praising God, serving the Lord, and it's gonna be beautiful. So for all those who are coming for Easter, we got you. Jesus will be praised. 